New England hospitals stop reporting newborns with drugs in system because it disproportionately affects black individuals. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> this country is so fucked. We are so, so fucked. It's awesome. I love it. I love all of it. Every moment of it is the greatest thing ever. Every new news article that we read just pushes us deeper and deeper down. We can never come back. Oh, f- me, man. Is it fake? She got me. It, the uh, author is Tyler Durden. <laughs> no, that's a. Uh, what's that fucking news site? That's real. That's a. It's a pseudonym. Uh, zero Hedge. Uh, yes, yeah, Zero Hedge. There you go. That's real. So that's it's real? Not, yeah, it's real. It's not fake. It's oh. not fake website. I apologize, Bex. Thank you for sending this over. I appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> a New England hospital system has stopped automatically filing state welfare reports when a baby is born with drugs in its system because it disproportionately affects black individuals. Put another way, the Mass General Brigham Hospital System is disproportionately failing to protect black babies from their ad- addict mothers <laughs> in what they claim is a move to address racial and ethnic inequ- inequities present in healthcare. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm inequities that's awesome when they start uh putting the uh dei initiative or whatever into the healthcare system everything's going to be great <laughs> did you it's it's we're heading the way of canada you heard about the the latest thing in canada you know how they're letting people kill themselves in canada or whatever we talked about that a while back yeah so now like the newest thing to get added to the list or the it, autism if you're mildly autistic they'll kill you <laughs> Like, hold on they'll kill you or let you kill yourself yeah i mean they're letting you uh, technically i think they're assisting you in killing yourself okay there's nothing wrong with that that i my opinion hasn't changed as we talked about it uh-huh i know it's because you're crazy because <laughs> you're, <crazy, laughs> you're a crazy person i i know if somebody doesn't want to live they should be allowed not to live nah. they sh- you don't have to you shouldn't have to worry about getting arrested For not wanting to live. (laughs) Right. (laughs) If somebody doesn't want to live outside of jail, they're going to want to not live more inside of jail. Right. Wait. (laughs) I don't know if that made your point or mine. I got to think about that one. (laughs) I'm not, I don't want to rehash that conversation again. I forgot where you were. You're a stone cold killer. I forgot. (laughs) You're goddamn right. I am. (laughs) So, if okay can can you help me understand like put this in like put yourself in their shoes like the the hospital or whatever like what do they call it steel man this or whatever what's their pretend like <laughs> they're not what? what steel man yeah like a straw man is like the weak the weakest part of the argument the steel okay. man would be the strongest part of the argument you know what i mean all right so pretend like they're not just complete lunatics like they're this they're actually doing this because it's good what would be their argument but i did eat breakfast (laughs) exactly (laughs) that would be their argument (laughs) what would be their argument for doing it yeah i mean like i said like give like if you're arguing on for them but you're serious like i am i'm serious when i make that argument I should be allowed to make the choice on whether I live or die. And I should be able to choose to die in the most painless way uh, possible with the minimum amount of cleanup for the hotel nurse or the hotel not, maid. I, I'm talking about uh, not reporting black drug addict babies. Oh, I wasn't talking about killing people. We're moving oh. past that. Well, you didn't tell me. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> My bad. Okay. So now I have to steel man the why why we are not reporting black babies. Yeah. And I can't just say because it disproportionately affects black people. <laughs> but I mean you can, but that's a not a good argument. Hmm. Cuz cuz that's easily refuted, right? If it Mm-mm. if it di- if it disproportionately affects black people, shouldn't the next statement say we should probably do something about that? <laughs> We should do something about the black people. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. They're getting in the way of all the white people that don't do drugs. Okay. How about this? All right. We don't. Okay. As the chief doctor of the doctors in the hospital, 
Uh-huh. I am making a suggestion. Okay, you're the board and I'm the chief. Okay. The chief chief. Okay. I'm the board board. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to, I'm making a suggestion to you, board board, that <laughs> we, we quit reporting black babies that have drugs in their system. Okay. Why, sir? <laughs> <laughs> um, because it, there's the potential of, there's already a bias against black people. Okay. I mean, I've heard yourself in board meetings talk about N word this and N word that. You throw the word around freely, like it's a, like it's it has no meaning behind it. Where where I stand, uh-huh. that word has meaning. Okay, people have meaning. Black lives matter. Okay. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so we just say a bunch of words that mean nothing. And is everybody clapping now? <laughs> we all, we're all standing. <laughs> the board is standing and clapping for you. No, no, it starts like this. Uh, just one guy. <laughs> okay, but the uh, the general population already has a negative view about black people in this city. Yeah. So if we put this information out there, uh-huh. it, they're it, they're going to view them even more uh, unfavorably. And we've uh-huh. got to do what we can to make the statistics look less black uh so people okay my property value is going down you understand that you have to make the statistics look no. less black so, okay hold on I, I think i just came up with the argument okay good if we don't report black babies with drugs in their system yeah okay the the population the census like if somebody goes on google and says um because that's what I do whenever I'm looking at moving somewhere. I see how many black people live in the city. Yeah. And course. if you're not reporting black babies, that means you're not reporting those percentages. So it looks like the black population is smaller in that city, which raises the property values. That's why we shouldn't report the black baby drugs. Oh. But then when you move somewhere, after you move in, you're like shaking your fist. Damn you, Google! <laughs> you, <laughs> me. you said... 20% black. This is at least 90% black. There are cracked out black babies everywhere, you lying motherfucker. <laughs> Do you okay? Do you think it's a big I, I, I don't even know how to ask the question. Is it a big enough problem that we need to like worry about it? That is there that many black babies being born addicted to crack? I, I say, yes, it's a big enough problem that we should worry about it, but I don't know if I'm answering the question that you're asking. All babies, black babies' lives matter. So we need to know how many of them are addicted to drugs. <laughs> I thought you were arguing that we didn't need to know. Because uh, of property I, values. <laughs> I, thought, I thought we were past that. Oh, okay. <laughs> you didn't let me know. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> And... I stand, if a black baby wants to kill itself, I think it should be allowed to. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> I don't, uh, Okay, I'd like to know the, I know the numbers are skewed now because they're not reporting them, but I'd like to know the number per capita of black babies. <laughs> Can't even say per capita without <laughs> laughing anymore. <laughs> per capita, like uh, the number of black babies born addicted to crack Versus the number of white babies born addicted to crack. You know what I mean? All right. Let's see if I can. Racial and ethnic disparities in maternal and infants. That sounds fancy. It really does. Uh, there's. Oh, okay. Here we go. Unadjusted and adjusted odds of use of any medication for opioid opioid use disorder in pregnancy. Is that what we're looking for? It doesn't sure. sound like what we're looking for. <laughs> I didn't hear crack in there at all. <laughs> Unadjusted. That means crack. <laughs> okay. Oh, fuck. Where are we at here? Where's the fucking white people? Okay. All right. Um. Fuck. I don't know. Marijuana, alcohol, benzodiazepine, cocaine, amphetamines. What do you want to know about? There's not like a breakdown for all of them, like just the drugs. Benzodiazepine? Sure. All right. Is that purple drink? 
that lean? Is that, is that lean? <laughs> <laughs> so that whatever wherever this is from it was 228 white people and six black people were treated for this and 18 mexicans yeah it makes a big difference where it was at uh massachusetts so what's the percentages of, you know what i mean like is there four black people in massachusetts so that means two of them drove from out of state to get treated or something <laughs> i mean like okay this says <clears throat> Non-Hispanic black women were significantly more likely to use cocaine during pregnancy, with 31.6% using cocaine compared to 26.2% of Hispanic women Uh and 18% of non-Hispanic white women. Jeez, that's a pretty big disparity. So it's, you're twice as likely to have a crack baby if you're black. Right. Hmm. Yeah, we shouldn't report that. (laughs) We don't want to hurt anybody's feelings. Hmm. And that's in Massachusetts. There's only like 15 black people there. That's what I mean. Shouldn't, shouldn't they just tell black people to stop doing cocaine when they're pregnant? Shouldn't that be the message? We need to, Hmm. we need to tell black people don't do cocaine when you're pregnant. No, no, no. Just (laughs) stop reporting it. (laughs) I don't. Hmm. Okay. Okay. So what about fetal alcohol syndrome? How many black white? Yeah, that's that's what I was thinking, too. That's funny that you said that, because I was thinking the exact same thing. I bet that's overwhelmingly white. Well, alcohol. There were 48 white women uh, or 48 white babies born with alcohol. Yeah. And zero black. Really? How, how did we both know that? Why? That's so crazy. How is it? Because black oh. women are better mothers than white women, other than the crack. Other than the cocaine. 